Anthony Joshua versus Constantine Eriks. What I should say is, having watched Anthony Joshua in all of his professional fights, I haven't been totally sold that he was going to become an elite level heavyweight. He struck me as someone who is quite rigid, um, lacks movement, lacks sort of, um, he's clearly got a big right hand, he clearly hits very, very hard, but he struck me as someone who was potentially open defensively, lacked sort of foot movement around the ring. And lacked a bit of elasticity to his jab. It was a bit rigid, a bit robotic for my liking. Uh, I wasn't overly carried away following on from his first couple of fights. I thought there was potential for him to go down the same route as David Price, in that he, you know, would get to a certain level due to his power and due to his physical abilities, because you know the guy is a beast. But he may get found out when up against somebody who's really slick, someone who's experienced, and someone who can hit him back. Um, having said that, I thought that for someone who had seven fights under his belt, he, he'd done pretty well. Obviously, you can't complain that you knock out all your opponents within two rounds. Um, I did think that Constantin Eric was a, a step in the right direction, so we say. I thought... He, he was an experienced opponent. Uh, you know, I think he'd had something like 21 wins, 9 losses, 17 of his wins by knockout. That may not be right, but it's there or thereabouts. He'd been in with some decent opposition. You know, he'd went the distance against Glasgow, against Solis. Um, there was the sort of knockdown against Char, but that was a debatable stoppage. And I did just think Aritz was... A, a step in the right direction. So I was pleased to see the fight first and foremost. Uh, I thought it was a good fight for number eight. A lot of, you know, serious prospects, as I say, like Glaskov, Solis, took the fight a lot later in their careers. So I thought it was a decent step up for Joshua. Um, and I thought on the night he did very, very well. Um, coming from someone who was a slightly sceptical about just how much potential this guy had, I thought it was a real step in the right direction from his previous fights, and I think it was the best Anthony Joshua we've seen so far in you know professional ring. Um, there's been a, a lot of improvement, and tonight was the best performance we've seen from Joshua um, against probably the, the best opponent he's fought. Um, Eric's was small, you know, he's six foot one, fifteen stone. Yeah, he probably meant cruiserweight, but obviously he's, he's fighting for the, the big money at heavyweight, but he was a small guy, he didn't have the physical attributes that Joshua had, he was always at a disadvantage from that sense, but he's someone with, you know, been in the ring a lot, been in with some decent names, Joshua controlled the fight the whole way through, Eretz didn't really land a, a clean shot on him whatsoever, uh, there was a few times when I say whatsoever, there was one or two that landed, but effectively Joshua, you know, you won't be waking up uh, with any cuts and bruises tomorrow, let's put it that way. Um, I think where I saw a real step forward from Joshua tonight is he wasn't so robotic. There was a bit more sort of snap and elasticity to his punching. Slightly more punching variety, the sort of one-two he throws is deadly, but it's a bit more body work, which I like to see. Um, you know, and he, he looks, he looked really decent. He looked really, really decent. Um, I, I was very much impressed. Um, I think one thing to mention in doing a, a post fight video is there was an incident in the third round because this fight was won by third round knockout. So Eric's was the first opponent to take Joshua beyond two, but there was. An incident in the third round where Joshua went down, uh, sorry, where Eric's went down, and Joshua threw a punch when Eric's was cle clearly on one knee. Uh, the referee didn't make too much of it, but it was a bit of a lucky escape there for Joshua because 
I'm not saying he should have been DQ'd for it, but it was really borderline. You know, Eric's was down on a knee and Joshua threw a punch. It was needless. It showed perhaps a slight lack of experience and maturity, and it's something that really could have cost him if, uh, you know, he hadn't got lucky with it. So that's something, that, you know, to learn from and to make sure it doesn't happen again. Um, he caught Eric's with a big punch and sent him down. He didn't knock him out, you know, very much. Eric's took a knee the first time. Fight was pretty much over from that point onwards. He got up, fought on. Joshua was sort of knocking him all over the ring, throwing a lot of punches, landing big shots. But he didn't, you know, he didn't knock Eric's out. He didn't put him down the second time. The referee very much broke it up, waved it off. Um, but he was a much more composed guy. Um, you know, he, he moved around the ring well. His punching, he just seemed slightly less robotic, which was my sort of major concern about the guy. So. I was very, very impressed with performance tonight. I think it was the best so far, and I think there is clear progression from you know second, third, fourth fights, if you like. Um, his next fight against Dennis Batlov, I expect a similar level of opposition from Eretz. I mean, Batlov and Eretz fought in Batlov's last fight, and Batlov did win, but it was a sort of points decision, relatively close decision, a few rounds in it, over eight rounds, I think. So. Um, I expect a not dissimilar level of threat from Eretz. Um, I believe after that we move on to Michael Sprott, which will take him to a 10 fight. So, starting to gain some momentum, starting to get in with some recognised names, and hopefully after Sprott we can look to move to some sort of level uh, opponents who would be, you know, top 50 in the world, so we say. Um, but yeah, really good. Performance from Joshua. I'm keen to hear people's thoughts. I know he's a, a big name, big prospect. I'm interested to see what people think, whether their opinion have changed after this fight, uh, and you know how far is the limit for Anthony Joshua.